Gary Coleman's attempted molestation on different strokes. You know, guys, you can just have an awful lot of fun with your clothes off. DJ developing an eating disorder on Full House. These dark TV moments will live with us forever precisely because they happened not on dramas, but on comedies. Look, everyone knows that something horrible and depressing is going to happen on ER every week. But when comedies take a darker turn, it is much more shocking and powerful because of the juxtaposition with their normally happy-go-lucky content. I'm Nostalgic Nick for Do You Remember? And today we're going to be taking a closer look at some of the darkest TV episodes of of the 70s. If you enjoy our content, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any future episodes. But for now, let's all get a little down in the dumps together. Edith's 50th birthday, All in the Family. Now, All in the Family was never a show to shy away from controversy. The show is famous for confronting realities of race, Don't you dare call me Manny! religion, and even class. But 1977's double episode, Edith's 50th Birthday, went darker than normal, becoming one of the first TV shows to portray an attempted rape. Family matriarch Edith Bunker is at home alone baking her own birthday cake when a man posing as a police detective tries to sexually assault her. Fortunately, Edith's cake begins to burn, and while putting out the fire, she smashes the cake in her assailant's face and makes her escape. A heroic moment that produced the biggest round of applause from the live audience in the show's history. While daughter Gloria pushes for the cops to be called, Archie reminds them that lawyers might turn it back on Edith and claim that she was asking for it such a supportive husband. The episode was a groundbreaking look, not just at sexual assault, but at the psychological consequences and victim shaming that often follow. In fact, Edith's 50th birthday has been used to train New York's finest. Abyssinia Henry Mash. When main characters leave comedies, it's usually not because they die. Usually it's not funny to kill off a main character, so when someone has to be written off a show, they typically ride off into the sunset to live happily ever after. Think Frasier moving to Seattle, or Richie Cunningham joining the army. But in the MASH season 3 finale, the writers took a much darker path. The actor who played charismatic, good-natured Commander Henry Blake had decided to leave the show, so his character was scripted to be discharged and sent home. Going home. I can't believe it. Going home. But at the last second, the producers added a scene in which Radar delivers the news that Blake's plane had been shot down with no survivors. The death was a secret from the rest of the cast, so when the telegram is read, the actors' expressions of surprise and sadness look very real, because they kind of were. Blake's death, the first by a main character in a comedy series, shocked the nation, which is exactly what the producers wanted. In the midst of the horrors of the Vietnam War, they addressed the reality Americans had to live with every day. War is not all laughs, and everybody doesn't make it home. A sad but real moment in television history. Be sure to check out our MASH deep dive for more about the legendary cast. Turkeys Away, WKRP in Cincinnati. Dark doesn't always have to mean sad or depressing. Sometimes dark can be something outlandishly gross. And during the climax of WKRP in Cincinnati's episode, Turkeys Away, that's what we got. The episode follows the travails of the employees at a small local radio station, whose ineffectual owner wants to drum up listeners by staging a special Thanksgiving Day promotion. He keeps the promotion a secret from everyone, even the audience. So imagine the viewer's surprise when, above a crowded supermarket parking lot, live turkeys started suddenly dropping out of a helicopter. Apparently, when a turkey is dropped from the sky, it hits the pavement like a sack of wet cement. The turkeys are hitting the ground like sacks of wet cement. Definitely outlandish and hilarious, but in a way that makes you feel just a bit guilty. Happy Thanksgiving! Maud's Dilemma. Maud. If the lead on one of TV's most popular shows, Getting an Abortion, sounds somewhat shocking now, imagine how it must have seemed nearly 50 years ago. And yet, that was exactly the dilemma facing the eponymous character in a 1972 episode of Maud, where at the age of 47, Maud discovers that she is pregnant. 
and along with her husband and adult daughter, agonizes over her best course of action. Maud is very much on the fence, but she eventually decides that the medical risks of a pregnancy at such an advanced age, combined with the fact that she would be raising the child well into her retirement, are too great and opts to get an abortion. Naturally, this episode caused quite a stir. CBS received over 20,000 letters of protest, and not a single commercial was sold for the broadcast of the reruns. However, it is estimated that over 65 million people watched at least one of the two-part episodes. And Maud's dilemma deserves credit for taking the discussion about abortion out of the shadows and into our living rooms. Why did the fireman, Laverne and Shirley, Nothing screams screwball comedy more than dealing with the grisly death of a loved one, right? Maybe not. But in Why Did the Fireman, Laverne and Shirley temporarily abandons hijinks and slapstick in favor of something much darker. In this episode, Laverne begins dating roguishly handsome firefighter Randy Carpenter, played by a young, handsome Ted Danson. Everything is going great. and Randy is on the verge of proposing in the fire station when the alarm sounds and he is called to duty. This being a darkest episodes list, you can probably see where this is going. Randy unfortunately perishes in the fire, and Laverne slowly slips into a tailspin of anguish and denial. Much more tragic fare for the normally lighthearted sitcom. For viewers tuning in expecting a barrel of laughs, watching Laverne go through all seven stages of grief in a half an hour must have come as quite a surprise. Sammy's visit, all in the family. Archie Bunker is one of TV's, hmm, how do I put it? Least politically correct characters. But normally his bigoted remarks are delivered to and rebutted by his family, which makes his casual racism a little more palatable. But in 1972's Sammy's Visit, Archie's prejudices find an outlet, and the results aren't great. The episode features Sammy Davis Jr. as himself, who accidentally leaves his briefcase in Archie's cab. Davis unexpectedly shows up at the Bunker household to reclaim his lost case. And what comes next is a predictable mix of Archie's bumbling racism and Davis's impressive charisma. In the line, I know you had no choice about being colored, but what made you turn Jew? Archie manages to seamlessly blend racism and anti-Semitism. If God had meant us to be together, he'd have put us together. Well, look what he's done. He put you over in Africa, he put the rest of us in all the white countries. And the scene is genuinely hard to watch now. In a vacuum, Bunker's bigotry seems less harmful, but turned against one of the biggest stars in America, his words hit harder. I heard you clear as a bell. Right straight out, she said, call it. <laughs> and although the two end up friends, it makes for a much darker episode. Goodbye, farewell, amen. MASH. Although technically airing in the early 80s, this was the last episode of the most popular show of the 1970s, and so I've included it on the list. MASH's final episode took the show's goal of showing war's impact on the individual to the extreme, and was one of the darkest of the series' run. During therapy after a nervous breakdown, main character Hawkeye Pierce, played by Alan Alda, recounts a story of yelling at a Korean refugee to keep her chicken quiet while hiding from an enemy patrol. Not that I have anything against chickens personally. They're a much maligned bird in my book. The woman smothers the chicken to death, and it's only upon further therapy that Hawkeye reveals that the chicken was his own mental substitution and that the woman had accidentally killed her child. Talk about dark material for a comedy. Unflinching till the end, MASH never shied away from the horror of war, with Goodbye, Farewell, Amen being the best example of how deep combat screws soldiers up. Yep, those were some dark episodes. Real dark. Like the inside of a black hole, or a live turkey exploding at your feet. So, did we miss any 1970s episodes with dark overtones? Had you seen any of these mentioned selections? Which do you remember most vividly? Let us know in the comments below. We want to hear from you. Now, the darkest thing of all would be if you didn't like this video. And I know that's not true, so please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more nostalgic favorites. As always, from all of us here at Do You Remember, thanks for watching.